Gangsters. I hope you're doing pretty well. Um, let's find out what's going on in your energy. What is in your field? Um, your energy field. <laughs> All right. Little lions. <laughs> I absolutely love the Leos. I don't know if I tell you guys this enough. I probably tell you like every week, but you guys, there's something else. <laughs> You're a whole vibe, you know that? <laughs> like, I feel like most of my friends these days are freaking Leos. And it's really, um, it's really helped me grow a lot as an Aquarius. I feel like I like, I've become quite the smart ass. <laughs> Thank you, Leos. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we have the nine of materials in reverse, right? I see this feeling of lack or letting something go or like you've lost something, right? Like it, it, it kind of feels like you're like, like scared that you lost something. What do you think you lost? What do you, what do you think you lost? What did you lose? What, what do you feel like you've lost? I don't know. Words. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Queen of Wands. Something that inspires you, right? This isn't money this nine of materials in reverse that's not what you lost you lost something that sparks your passion something that makes you feel alive something that activates you with the higher font i see you focusing really hard on your work i see you seeking like you know maybe some counsel with the divine um and I'm being like, why? <laughs> you know, um, because you just really haven't had any rest from strife. Seems like this is something that kind of haunts you a little bit. Um, with the five of swords, I see you being very conflicted. Um, or potential conflict. Let's see. So, the Hierophant. Hierophant is kind of a masculine energy. Um, so let's clarify it. You might be sitting in a solid balance. Leos, you always show up to your own readings. <laughs> I can always rely on you for that. Like, literally the only fucking sign that... I think you guys show up in almost every one of my readings, actually. I get the sun, the strength card, one of the one of the court cards and the wands, <laughs> you know? We got the queen of wands plus the sun. All right, I see you. Very creative individual. Very artistic. Very divinely blessed and guided. And it's funny, because it's like, I see this energy of like, you're getting paid back good karma with interest, you know? That's kind of what I'm seeing here. Because of all that you've gone through, because the strife wasn't your battle, and you still had to go through it. Well, it kind of was your battle, but it, it like... You still had to go through it. <laughs> it was something that you didn't sign up for or didn't intend for, right? You've done pretty well at evading situations like this. But yet, here we are, sitting in that strife. Um, four of swords in reverse. So... Nine of Wands, you want to let something off your chest. You want to talk about something. 
um, whatever it is that's kind of like keeping you in this like feeling of strife or feeling like um, held back. Um, with the Ace of Wands, I see a passionate new beginning. There's a lot of fire in, in this. Um, and. Alright, Five of Swords. Let's clarify this conflict. All right, I'll say it, damn it. Um, Ace of Materials in Reverse. I see this energy of you letting go of um, something. All right, I, like I said in the beginning, the Nine of Materials in Reverse is this energy of letting go, like you had to, had to drop something, you know? Um, with the Four of Wands in reverse, it kind of tells me this could be somebody that, like, they built a solid foundation with. This could be somebody that you have, like, history with. Um, for the sake of love, right? For the sake of love. It's like you're letting go of energies that aren't, aren't that. Um... With the Nine of Emotions, Nine of Cups, that's like getting your happy ending. It's almost like demanding it from the universe, right? With this, this act of releasing, I feel like you're releasing energies that aren't bringing in the love, right? You're releasing the energies that are just kind of feeding that stagnation in your life. What do you love? What's your nine of cups? Let's see. Okay, so when I asked, who do you love, <laughs> um, immediately, the card that fell out was a page of wands, page of inspiration. Um, that's a mess, um, uh, <laughs> I know where it's, that's a messenger of truth. Um, so, I feel like you're in love with some sort of messenger, some sort of speaker. Um... Could be a musician, could be somebody who does a lot of talking. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, um, I see you kind of like opening up your own path here, right? I see you kind of paving your own way here. Kind of deciding that you are like the master of your own life and you do get to decide like ultimately what happens in your life what happens for you um you like knowing that you have that right that's kind of like a solid um like strength of yours Temperance, um, divine timing. 
I'm sorry I see you feeling like going through that ego death, really doing the shadow work like you've done it. You know, I feel you coming out and kind of like having that faith in the divine, having faith in, you know, especially with the star card coming out. Um, you know, we've got Sagittarius with the temperance card. We've got um, Aquarius with the star card. And that's really kind of telling me that like, like, you're very, um, hopeful or faithful. Like, you kind of, it's like you just know inside of your soul, like. Some things are just. Some things are just, um. Kind of meant for you. And it's funny because it's almost like some things are, will be yours even if you choose not to accept it, right? Even if you were to make that decision where you're like, no. It's like, it doesn't matter, it's yours. <laughs> so you can't lose it. You know, it's just kind of there for you. Um, Ace of Swords, I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough moment. Right? You're going to have this moment and everything's just going to kind of click for you and you're going to be like, oh, aha! <laughs> You know, um, I think also, like, talking to the divine and really giving the divine any kind of fears, doubts, and insecurities, whatever that you may face, um, can really be beneficial to you. So, take it as it resonates. Um, the devil. The devil showing up in the reading. But this is the opposite of that temperance energy. It's the opposite of the star. And it's the opposite of nine of cups because happy people don't sit in the devil energy. Opposite of the sun card. I'm getting this feeling that this is somebody else. Let's clarify it. Could be a Capricorn. could be you um <laughs> with the strength card showing up the other leo card dude i told you you always show up at your own readings um but this is kind of i want to clarify more because with the strength card too showing up with the devil is it, it could be it could mean like having the strength to really do Do something for yourself rather than for other people, right? Be a little more selfish and less selfless because I feel like you've always been selfless. I feel like you've always self-sacrificed for others. And I feel like it's kind of that energy where it's like, well, now, you know, it's time to really decide, like, are you ever going to, you know? Let's, let's clarify. Let's double though. And this girl, I just realized she's holding infinity in her hand, you know? And I feel like that's it's kind of a powerful energy to be holding infinity. I feel like there's some karma in, in this, right? You're facing some sort of karma here. Every time the infinity shows up in tarot, I feel that sense of karma. I feel like you have guilt. We have the Empress, Divine Feminine showing up. Um, opposite of the Devil. The Devil could be somebody you're dealing with. I don't know, you put it where it belongs, but like, surrounding this Devil card. <laughs> You know, this card is, it's very selfish energy, right? Very self-serving, very manipulative, very controlling, very, um, kind of 
kind of fucked up, you know? It matches up with this page of swords, right? This hater energy, right? Somebody's hating on you or or you were hating on somebody else. Um But then the Empress shows up. Right? And the Empress is that divine feminine, right? She doesn't hate anybody. She's like that nurturing maternal figure. Um, brings projects to life, very artistic, very creative, very expressive. Um, and I kind of feel like the devil card is kind of coming out as a symbol of, like, guilt. For some things that you may have said. Or somebody's coming up with some guilt for some things that they may have said in regards to this empress energy whether or not you're the empress um remains to be seen um yeah the empress is is breaking free of this mental prison right Let's clarify the strength card. Because I know for a fact that's you. Muse of Wands. Muse of Fire. Right? You inspire creativity. You inspire... You just inspire. You're very divinely gifted. You're on a divine path here. But I just... I keep feeling like this devil might not be you. I don't know. It just... It feels out of place. It feels like this is your hater. Like somebody who just doesn't want you to win. But like, let's clarify it again. Because I just I feel this. False pride. That's why the devil is showing up. It's false pride. With the lion next to it, it really brought that message out to me. False pride. This is like false confidence. False self-esteem. Like showing up looking the most. Looking like you've got all this confidence. Looking like you can do this. Um, deep down, there's a fear that's being hidden behind this ego. That fear is this four of cups. It's the fear of being rejected. Or it's the fear of being thrown away. That's ultimately what's leading all this. You're wearing a mask. Or somebody's wearing a mask. So we have the Emperor now. Divine Counterparts showing up to this reading. Um, so with the Emperor, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and Two of Wands in reverse. So, this other energy is showing up. 
And I, I feel like you're showing up as like the empress, like this artistic, like whether or not you're male or female, it doesn't matter. I see you showing up as like this artistic individual, very creative, very nurturing, very supportive, you know, whatever. Um, then the emperor, I feel like this is another individual, right? This is somebody who's not at a crossroads. This is somebody who's made up their mind. They are like dead set. They know what they want in life. They're going for it, right? Very solid emperor energy. The emperor doesn't question themselves. They have complete faith in their intuition and their, you know, their guidance. They're not sitting there like, is this the right choice? Is this, you know, they're like, I know the right choice. The right choice is to follow my intuition because that's what warriors do. Um, <laughs> but the six of um, pentacles in reverse, I see them as being very um, independent. They're not looking at, they're not looking to be taken care of, right? This is somebody who's like, I don't need, I don't need anything from anybody. You know, it's very strong, independent energy, right? With the three of swords in reverse, it's like, they refuse to like waste their love. They've been heartbroken before. They're not doing that again. Um... So honestly, it's almost better that you don't show up with any offers if you're not gonna, if it's not something that you're like actually really serious about. Because like, I feel like this individual is not playing games. It's like they are either like all in or nothing, you know, <laughs> like just bottom line. Um, they're not playing games with you. Um, and <laughs> I feel like they kind of perceive all this indecisiveness all this like worry this fear this doubt all this stuff i feel like they perceive that as like kind of a weakness um they kind of perceive that as like oh well you know like it's kind of scary to be with somebody who's that unsure you know that unsure of themselves that they can't even follow their own divine guidance you know like somebody who is that like who lacks that much confidence that they can't speak their truth. I don't care how uncomfortable it is, you know? Like, it's it's one of those things. Um, and so I feel like this ember is just kind of like, whatever, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, I'm doing my own thing. Um, kind of just okay. Like, kind of not really worried about this, not overthinking this. Um... And I feel like you really shouldn't either. Like, there's n nothing to really overthink about this. You're either all in or you're all out. You know, it's not really more complicated than that. Yeah, the magician in reverse. This, this uh, emperor, it just doesn't do secrets. You know, they're not going to do secrets with you. They don't want to play that game that, you know, and so the longer you, like, hide your feelings or hide your feelings from them the longer you know you don't express yourself or the longer you are in this indecisive energy the less they trust you right the less they see you as an authentic person and the more they see you as like everybody else you know <laughs> so it's like I feel like you know you're kind of being challenged to and put the energy where it belongs if you're the masculine you know you're the masculine if you're the feminine you know you're the feminine um, I'm just kind of reading the cards, so put yourself where you belong. Um, but I get this feeling of, like, all this, all this, like, indecisive and, like, fish hooky energy is just kind of like, it's a turnoff to this emperor. They're just kind of like, why are you acting like a child? Like, it is what it is. Either be real or don't. <laughs> Goodbye, don't waste my time, you know? Um, so, how does the Emperor feel in regards to even pursuing anything at this time? Yeah, Muse of Swords in Reverse, they're not in it. They're, like, focused on business. They're focused on work. It's like they're distracted. They're not even looking at this situation. Core materials in reverse. I see, like, 
they're just focused on like building a solid foundation and they're not giving their time and energy to anything that doesn't have that like they want either a solid foundation with you or nothing right it's like but they're very decisive you know this is a very independent energy this isn't like This isn't somebody who's weak of character or who is desperate for attention or gives a fuck at all. You know, it's kind of like this energy of somebody who's just like, take me or don't, I don't care, <laughs> you know? Um, all right, let's see what else. Queen of Swords in reverse, um, since I started reading it from the perspective of the feminine, I will continue. So, um, but yeah, basically, like, this Queen of Swords, um, doesn't want to cut off this connection, doesn't want to be cut off. This Queen of Swords is, like, kind of like, they want to lay down their, their swords and kind of, like, just relax into it, you know, um, okay, is it too late by then, <laughs> because this emperor does not look like the type to wait for games, energy of waiting for something to end with its death card in reverse waiting for something to kind of finalize before you take that step or vice versa before they take that step into the unknown um so let's clarify this death card in reverse Two of Cups, somebody might be in a relationship. Or connected in some way. But it's like that situation needs to come to an end before somebody can follow their heart. Who's in the relationship? <laughs> No, hanged man, this is the obstacle that gets in the way of going the distance. I see. Leos are notorious for loving the emotionally unavailable type. It's kind of your thing, I think. Three of wands in reverse. Yeah, you don't want to participate in a third party situation. You don't want to let go of this situation either. <laughs> um, but then why is this emperor, or why is this emperor, what's going on with the emperor? <laughs> the high priestess taking divine guidance being led in the right path. Um, eight of Wands in reverse, breaking old cycles, right? That separation, that death coming up. I do see the death card showing up in this Ten of Swords, right? Feeling betrayed, ending things, um, completing cycles. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, there is something here that they don't want to walk away from. What is that? Their abundance or something that inspires them. 
Yeah, let's see. What does that mean? Let's clarify. They already said it with the Knight of Swords. They already said their piece. They don't want to walk away from this connection, this divine connection, right? With the lovers, that's major arcana love. It's not minor arcana love. The two of cups, which showed up with the, you know, who needs to break up. That was the karmic situation. That's minor arcana. That's kind of side quest love, right? This is main quest line love. Um... And I see, like, somebody making a decision here in regards to that. Um, Six of Swords in reverse. I feel like in the past they didn't take divine guidance or they didn't feel very protected by the divine in their um, past connection. Or their, their past connection was not, like, blessed by the divine. I feel like there's something about that connection that was... Let's see... Um, yeah, Five of Cups in reverse, they just felt like they were wasting their love, like everything was wasted, nothing felt good or right in that connection, it was just meaningless. The Moon in reverse, it's like, I feel like this feminine fails to see, um... Feels to see what the emperor really had to go through in this connection or how they actually felt about that connection. Queen of materials in reverse, I feel. Yeah, they had to let go of somebody who was potentially a gold digger, right? Like, I did see that six of materials show up. I did see the queen of materials in the reverse. Um, somebody who doesn't have a strong financial, um, foundation, you know, that they have to kind of let go of, that they felt like they wasted their love on. They may have been in a gold digger situation, and you may have been misreading that connection. Um, alright, I'm running out of time, so let's do some oracles before I go. Um, all right, last minute messages for my little lions. Ebb and flow, just chill, just go with the flow, bro. Um, release. You know, I feel like that means release your outcomes, release any expectations, right? Just kind of like go with the flow of life um, a little bit. Sanctuary, get that deep sanctuary, you know, inside that that introspection, that, that higher conversation with the divine. You know, I feel like it doesn't matter if you stress about it or not inevitably you're gonna do what you inevitably do right and so just kind of like inevitably do that and just kind of let life flow you know if you're meant to be which i believe divine counterparts are meant to be um if you're meant to be you will be bottom line i feel like there's some reason that y'all ain't letting go of this connection right it's like i see this energy of trying I also see this energy of the divine not letting that shit happen. I see the divine being like, oh, you want to try to forget? Look, both of you on your path, both being divinely guided, both being protected, both being watched over, both with your own sets of angels. 
Um, and it's really just a matter of like relaxing and just kind of flowing into life as it comes, you know, as it's meant to be. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you. I gotta get going. <laughs> uh, namaste. I love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. You little lions. <laughs> All right. Let's see.